Once a potential recipient is actually on the list, it's the role of the transplant coordinator to educate the potential recipient on their responsibilities while they're on the list, to call into the coordinator every two weeks to update us on their clinical status, it's our job at that point to keep them updated with their testing, pulmonary testing, their visits with the social worker, uh, and every six month visit with the surgical team so that we can evaluate any clinical changes that they may have had within that period of time and to make sure that they're still a viable candidate over time while they're waiting. The lung allocation score is basically a score from zero to 100 that reflects the clinical status of the patient at the time they're put on the list. Uh, 100 would be the highest score that we would give a patient and there are critically ill patients. There are a multitude of factors that go into the lung allocation score itself, some of which include the resting oxygen requirement, height and weight, and the patient's lung diagnosis. When a lung becomes available for one of our potential recipients, the surgeon makes sure that the blood type, the antibody panel, and the lung itself is an appropriate size for the potential recipient. At that point, once that's determined, the coordinator makes the call to the patient, verifies that the patient is not having any acute current illnesses, um, gives them instructions regarding not having anything to eat, instructs them to take an antimicrobial shower before they come to the hospital, but also instructs the patient on where to arrive at UPMC at the time of the call. Once the potential recipient gets to UPMC, they're assigned a patient room, and at that point we do testing, EKG, blood work, and IV is started. They sign surgical consent, anesthesia consents, and the patient and the family basically wait to hear from the transplant surgical team about the acceptance of the lungs for them. If the lungs are accepted, then the patient is taken to the pre-anesthesia area. They are prepared for surgery, and depending on whether or not a patient is receiving a single lung or a double lung transplant, they can wait either six to eight hours for the completion of the surgery or eight plus hours for completion of a double lung. Our transplant team is comprised of transplant coordinators, transplant pulmonologists, transplant surgeons, social workers, and nutrition, all of which work as a multidisciplinary team to take care of our recipients prior to transplant, throughout their transplant, and for the rest of their life.